The existence of mermaids might seem far-fetched and basically beyond reality, but is it? Today we will find out why so many people believe that mermaids could have possibly roamed the oceans not so long ago. It is well known that mermaids are seen in mythology as half-fish creatures that attracted sailors and pirates with their incredible singing voices and their unusual physical appearance. Of course, these are only stories, but where did these stories come from? What is the exact moment, the beginning of real-life mermaid rumors? Well, going back time, it seems as if they've always existed, but only now do we know that hallucinations might make up for 95% of the sightings. First off, let's clarify what a hallucination is and how many types of hallucinations can a human being experience, because we usually assume that only visual hallucinations occur, when in reality olfactory, gustatory, tactile and auditory hallucinations happen just as often. And the following three diseases are best known to have these side effects, Alzheimer, Parkinson and schizophrenia. So there is a high probability that the exposure to sun for multiple months, the lack of social interactions and the life in filth might have caused these side effects in sailors. A human, especially a female with a tail, is the perfect fit for a captivating story. So what does biology think about this concept? It's not required for you to be a doctor to realize that mammals and fish cannot reprocreate and therefore cannot give birth to hybrids. And even if you were to use our imagination and work out a functional fish-human model, we'd certainly fail. As reports of mermaid sightings are generally vague without much detail, maybe sailors mistaken something they saw, for example dolphins or whales, for the mythical beings. The aquatic ape hypothesis, also referred to as aquatic ape theory, proposes an alternative view of hominin evolution, which explains that the ancestors of modern humans were more aquatic than those of other great apes. The marine biologist Alistair Harvey came up with the concept in 1960, hairlessness and bipedalism being two of the strongest arguments. The lack of body hair humans have in comparison to other mammals might be due to it being easier for the early humans to flow through water hairless. This is just the beginning, as Alistair argues, the way our bodies store body fat is similar to that of the aquatic mammals. Moreover, we have quite big brains for our body proportions, which might also indicate that our ancestors could have survived both on land and underwater. As I mentioned earlier, bipedalism is the final argument that Hardy believed, despite the opinions of other researchers who consider the aquatic ape theory as pseudoscience. The theorem describes the evolution of humans, not mermaids, so maybe the best place to search for proof in what concerns the existence of mermaids is us. When talking about pregnancy, the embryo is growing and developing its future adult features in an unusual way. You see, until the 37th week, the now grown baby stays in the amniotic fluid. While completely submerged, the baby seems to be unbothered, and that is because its respiratory system is still transitioning and evolving into the adult version, losing this property. However, the internet is full of videos showing babies only a couple of months old swimming naturally, knowing that at such a young age the learning process is not complex enough for newborns to be able to memorize the motions involved in swimming. Not only does swimming require strength, but while underwater, breath holding is much harder for an infant, which is why these babies can realistically be compared to any other aquatic mammals that swim instinctively. Soon after birth those instincts will be lost. But the Sugar Anomaly or the Mermaid Syndrome can give us a little insight into how a birth anomaly can shape a newborn just like a mermaid. The development of the leg suffers mutations which result into both of the baby's legs being stuck together, shaped just like a fishtail. Unfortunately, the death of the patient occurs 2 or 3 days after birth, so we cannot know how a 20, 30 year old adult suffering from this condition would look like. In this specific scenario, the condition is caused by a kidney mutation. The theory wrote Alistair Hardy the hatred of other scientists, who totally disregarded the possibility of an aquatic ancestor, therefore disregarding the existence of mermaids, as this topic simply is beyond the reality. <laughs>